Social organizations hold praise meet, says Carby and Long Free from African Swine Fever. Inhabitants of Long Erdang face acute drinking water scarcity. World Environment Day celebrated across the Three Hills District. Hello and a very good morning to all the viewers of Carbing Long Life News. You're with Julie Baby with the latest news of the day. Now let's move to the news in detail. As India sees its biggest single day surge and breaks its own record every other day, the number of COVID-19 patients in Assam has also crossed the 2000 mark with the state registering more new cases daily. Here is more from a report. According to Assam Health Minister Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma, on Friday, nine more new cases of COVID-19 were reported from the Mahasal. With this, the district has registered a total of 52 positive cases, out of which 45 are active, while seven have been discharged. On the other hand, Kamrup Metro had till now registered the largest numbers of COVID cases in the state with a total of 391 positive cases, followed by Golakhat with 201 cases. West Karbi Anglong has still reported 13 positive cases and all are active, while Karbi Anglong has reported 8 cases with 1 discharge. As of now, the total number of positive cases in Assam has risen to 2,153 cases with 459 discharge cases. News X Report, Karbi Anglong Live. Responding to Time for Nature, the UNO's theme for World Environment Day 2020 and the appeal of Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal, people across the Three Hills district of Assam have marked the day with planting trees. Although no large programs could be organized due to lockdown and pandemic, many people have come out to show care, love and give time for nature. Here is more from our report. Hued for Nature, in collaboration with Dongkamakam Municipal Board and Forest Department, had observed the World Environment Day by conducting a cleanliness drive in and around Dongkamakam town. They planted flowers and tree saplings near Thongnok Bay statue and also at several public places within Dongkamakam town. DMB Chairman Tilisram Ronghang, Vice Chairman Ren Singh Timung, and Ward Commissioner Serlongki Bay were present during the plantation. Bidjutpal Ronghang, along with his team from the Forest Department, distributed saplings to different schools in South Gao. In Deepu, the Forest Department officials of Recreation Park, led by Jameson Crow, celebrated the day by planting several trees and also carrying out cleanliness drive. Crow also informed that they have provided more than 21,700 saplings to several NGOs and organizations of Deepu for planting. At Langoku, Picnic spot, KAAC speaker Longki Timung and PWD board chairman led a team to carry out plantation program to mark the day. During the program, MAC Longki Timung talked about the need to preserve the natural beauty of places like Langbuku. In Umrongso, Karbi club president Joy Singh Timung along with Edward Ronghang and members of the Karbi So Arlo Amai celebrated this day by planting 50 trees inside a campus of Karbi club. Likewise, youth organizations and schools from different parts of the Three Hills District joined in the celebration of the day. Meanwhile, KAAC CEM Tuliram Ronghang also planted trees near Assam Rifles Camp in Deepu. Kabon Militi Sopi from Dongkamuka, Linson Ronghang from Umrongso, along with Vijay Rongpi's report from Dilai Karbing Long Live. For now, let's take a quick commercial break. Stay with us for more news. Protect your pigs from African Swine Fever African Swine Fever is a viral disease of both domestic and wild pigs, which spreads quickly and kills most of the infected pigs. Humans are not affected by African Swine Fever. Sign and Symptom High Fever Loss of appetite, depression, weakness, red, blotchy skin or skin lesions, 
vomiting, diarrhea, coughing or difficulty breathing, abortion, and sudden death. Prevention No treatment and vaccine for African swine fever. Stop entry of visitors. Don't visit infected areas. Keep the pigs in enclosure. Separate the sick animals. Do not leave food in areas accessible to wild pigs. Dead animals should be buried scientifically. Use bleaching powder about 10 to 15 gram or liter for regular cleaning. Use potas for food bath and 0.01% solution, 1 gram or 10 liter for spray inside sty. Keep in constant touch with nearest veterinary doctor. For more information, contact District Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Office, Karbi Anglong Depot at 8790-536892 or 700-280-3658. MS Punctual Stationery Just tap in once and feel the difference. MS Punctual Stationery at Ronkela, Dipu Manjaro, near Don Bosco Higher Secondary School, Dipu Caribbean Law. Where you'll get all things available like groceries, beverages, and personal care items. Here you will also get necessary household items like electrical items, gift items, mixer grinder, table fan, ceiling fan, rice cooker, and many more. Shop to the fullest and get 5% discount on stationary items and 10% discount on household items. Welcome back to Carbing Long Live News after the break. Clean and safe drinking water facility had always been a problem for men. At several places where the government is unable to provide proper facility, natural resources are the only options for people. Lang Erdang is one such place where the people depend on the natural resources for drinking water since time immemorial. However, they are now facing very serious trouble to fetch water for daily need due to the reckless attitude of the Moromi enterprise who are constructing PMGSY Road. The Moromi enterprise has been assigned with the construction of a PMGSY under number 4 Soching MSC constituency at Lang Erdang, a village near the Assam Meghalaya border. This is one of the biggest Garbi village in the area. More than 100 families have been settled in the village, all of whom depend on the water from the reel and crags in the rows, flowing down from the hills. The reckless excavation work by the road constructor had resulted in the damage to a large portion of path the people travel every day to reach the water source. As the prevailing rainy season is making the muddy road more slippery, there is high risk of people meeting accident and falling down the hill. It is like the young girls and women are risking their lives to bring home one pitcher of water. Also, due to rain, more soil is eroding daily and if it continues, people would not be able to fetch water. Thus, the local people have strongly urged upon the KAAC and local MSC Rup Singh Teron to look into the matter and make provision for a safe source of drinking water. Also, they have asked Moromi Enterprise to hear the people's cry and take steps not to harm the normal life of people while working for development. Daniel Lehi reporting from Hamren, Karbian Long Live. Various social organizations of Karbi Anglong had today convened a praise made in the office of Karbi Students Association in Ronglihang regarding the rumors of the spread of African swine fever in Karbi Anglong. Here is a report. The Karbi Students Association, Karbi Students and Youth Council, Karbi Farmers Association and the United Farmers Committee through the praise made say that, as per the report they received from the Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Department, Karbi Anglong is free from African swine fever, a disease that has widely affected several districts of Assam. 
They informed that all the reports of the tests taken in several parts of both Karbi Anglong and West Karbi Anglong had arrived and all the reports are negative. Further, they clarified that the cause of the death of several pigs in the district is classical swine fever and not African swine fever. Mentioning about United Students Union of Karbi Anglong decisions to ban the sale of pork, they say that the government of Assam had allowed the sale of pork in the state and that the organization should not ban the sale without proper evidence. KSA General Secretary Than Singh Timong, KSYC President Prakash Terang, KFA President Tinku Inti and UFC President Bidya Singh Rongpi were present during the May. Bikram Crow from Deepu, Carving on Live. Living a life is a hard challenge filled with struggles. And when you are physically sick, the difficulties to make a living get tougher. Carby Anglong Life today would share the pitiable story of a mother who had been paralyzed from a long time and for whom the world had become static. More from our correspondent's report. Serlin Ronghangpi is a widow of Leth Kehai Teron. She lives with her two sons at Havang Teron village in Koilamati. Her sons had been deprived of education due to the poverty of their family and her mother could not manage to arrange a good life for them. I would like to request to you all that if anyone wants to support this family, they really need help from us. So uh, this woman is suffering paralysis from uh, for 12 years. Serlin had been suffering from paralysis for the last 12 years. After the death of her husband, the world for the mother and sons had turned dark to black. Through Caribbean Long Life, the family had sought the assistance of well wishes for her treatment so that she could live a normal life once again. She fervently begs upon the KAAC CEM Tuliram Ronghang for assistance so that she would be able to go for further treatment. News X Report, Caribbean Long Live. And that's all we have it us for today. Thank you for watching Caribbean Long Live. Stay safe.